Coach, your initial reaction from being named in the Louisville region? What do you think about it? Great opportunity. Uh, looking forward to you know getting on the field again today with our guys to get uh, help get them prepared for the regional for sure. For sure. Excited. What do the next few days look like for you guys? Um, practice. Practice Tuesday, uh, depart Wednesday, practice Thursday, play Friday. What have the past few days looked like for you guys and, to, and once you got home from Scottsdale? Um, well, we had a travel day, which was an interesting travel day where we had about six different flights. Uh, we got back, we took one day off, and then we had a great practice yesterday. What happened with the flights? Was it just you guys have a long layover? or? No, it's just when you're traveling with 50 people on a, uh, it's not easy, you know, especially today right now with travel. It's just 50 people. It's it's hard to get flights around uh, the country. And it's just group gets spread out and, you know, you're on six different flights. How much does the experience of last year's regional help you guys going into this one? Uh, I think a ton, you know, I mean, the more experience you can get, that's only there to help you. And so... I'd way rather be experienced than inexperienced. And um, for us to have uh, been in the regional last uh, last year, re regional finals last year, uh, be able to learn the positives and the negatives with what happened, uh, tremendous. You know, I think that'll be a huge advantage for us. You guys have had some up or moments this year of some real lulls, like after UCLA or Oregon State, but you guys have both bounced back. What do you think it is about this team that has, has you guys so resilient this season? Well, I don't know. I think everybody that's going into postseason play right now has had uh, some moments that they're not proud of and that they are proud of. And the teams that are suiting up this coming week are the ones that figured out how to overcome some bad moments and and uh, and turn them into positives in the future weeks. And those teams are the ones that are playing this coming week. Um, maybe with the exception of Tennessee, I don't know if Tennessee had any real lulls in their deal. Uh, everybody else sure has. And so, you know, being resilient, uh, getting back off the deck, understanding that you play in, in a heck of a conference. And so it's, it's just not easy, you know? When you beat Stanford two out of three and Stanford's a number two national seed, that should tell you that you can beat anybody at any given time. And then there's some other games that you look at and you go, wow, okay, well, we could lose to anybody at any time. And so um, the difference between those games is really a mentality and understanding that um, boy, you, you need to be at your best at this level. And now with 64 teams in the tournament and you're one of them, um, the team that plays the best is going to be the one that finishes on top. And uh, everybody's 0-0 right now, which is really a lot of fun, you know. New season. If I'm not mistaken, you haven't really traveled that far east this year. So how do you think your team will make that adjustment and what are kind of some of the travel, uh, challenges there? Um, well, we'll travel by air. So we'll make the adjustment by getting on the airplane and going a little further than usual. Um, and then when we get there, I think we're gonna do, you know, a lot of the similar stuff that we do in practices and stuff like that to prepare. There may be a special thing or two that we uh, need to do in terms of an opponent that we get to play. Uh, Michigan with Coach Backish, Big Ten uh, Conference champion. Coach Backish, a personal friend of mine, very good coach. Um, you know, they're gonna have two left-handed starters, two right-handed starters to choose from. They're a very balanced club. They like to run the bases aggressively. Uh, pulled off a double squeeze in the conference tournament, I think final game uh, just the other day uh, that we were watching. And, you know, Coach Bash is a person that's gonna have his team very well prepared. So our job's just to worry about us and get our team prepared um, for a very competitive Michigan team on, on day one of that, that regional. Did you guys overlap in your respective coaching careers? Did you coach anywhere together? Uh, no, we never coached anywhere together. I coached in the Big Ten during my stay out there at Purdue while he was at Michigan, though. How do you think, if, if at all, does the Pac-12 tournament, that tournament style, get you guys maybe prepared for a regional? I don't know if it's Pac-12 tournament uh, that uh, is going to get you prepared or whatever. I think just the long of the season, um, the grind of the season probably prepares you best. You know, our schedule's in the top 10 uh, strength of schedule in the entire country. Some of them, a couple of things had us number one strength of schedule in the entire country. We're in the top 10 in the RPI the entire year. Um, you know, I think that probably prepares us and our team. You know, when you're playing against the best, that means you're going to take some lumps. That means it's going to be some low points as well as some high points uh, if you play well. And, and we did. The body of work was really strong. Uh, for us to get the opportunity to go to Louisville Regional, I think it's fantastic. I love it. Uh, very familiar with the Louisville field um, at itself, you know, and the lay of the land out there. Having spent time, a lot of time in the Midwest. Um, and then, you know, just excited to get into a tournament with those other three teams I'm very familiar with, with Dan McDonald being the head coach at Louisville. 
uh, and Sawyer's uh, coaching at Southeast Missouri State, which is a place where I started my coaching career at Division One level. So uh, it's just really exciting for us personally uh, as well, and I'm looking forward to getting our team ready to play in this regional. What does it mean to you to, to face a team where you started your D1 coaching career now at, now at Oregon a, in a Power 5 level school? Well, I don't know that we're going to play them. We may, we may not. I know we're going to play Michigan, and so our focus is strictly on Michigan. Just, I, I know there's a lot of teams, a lot of regionals here, but are there any other regionals that kind of stood out to you in terms of uh, the, just an interesting one to potentially watch down the road? I think they're all interesting. I'm a big fan of college baseball, but I, I didn't see any of the other regions. I don't, I don't really care. Awesome. I'm curious what your thoughts were on the kind of overall format of the Pac-12 tournament, if you'd like to see anything tweaked. And I know some people took issue with some of the late start times early in the tournament. Well, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure those things will be discussed in the Pac-12 head coaches meetings next fall. Um, you know, what, what they did right, what they did wrong. I thought the efforts of the Pac-12 were outstanding. Um, I thought being on the national stage uh, for the Pac-12 conference is a, is a big deal. Uh, instead of playing conference weekend, uh, we were playing a conference championship in a tournament. Uh, twerks uh, that we need to do, you know, and tweaks or whatever uh, in that deal, fine. Uh, we can do all that kind of stuff uh, later on down the road, assess what the positives and negatives were about the tournament. Uh, I think they nailed it in terms of uh, just having a conference tournament. I think it's fantastic for our league. Uh, congratulate Stanford for winning that uh, tournament. They, they had the best team in the regular season and the best team for the weekend in the tournament. So congratulations to Coach Esker and his staff.